Hello, my friend. Welcome to live chat. I am so excited for today's chat because we get to talk about influencer award ceremonies. And they've really come a long way over the years. They really have. They used to be like super, I don't know, I just thought they were a little hokey, a little cheesy, but I'm like three quarters of the way through watching it. And it's actually pretty good. The streamies is what I'm talking about. They aired yesterday. It was all remote. A lot of people were um, accepting their awards from their houses and they had like a, a van that was going around and like visiting people that had been tested for COVID and all this stuff. So they, they did a pretty good job with all of that. But what we're here to talk about today is we are going to talk about whether we think they got the people right who should have won the different categories. Now, I didn't screenshot all of the categories, obviously. I screenshotted the ones that I thought would be relevant to us because we are part of the beauty community. So anybody that won anything that is part of the beauty community, I screenshotted uh, that they won and we'll talk about it. I also have a clip that I wanna show you that like made me go, bah! Um, bah! sorry, sorry, I just can't stop with that, uh, that I want to show you that I'm excited to, to share with you. So before we do that, though, I do want to quickly say good morning to the people that are here live in the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness, also known as people that are here in live chat that are also going to comment on what is happening here um, with the streamies and whether... Um, whether y'all think that they made the right decisions or not. And then I thought I thought it'd be fun if we had time to kind of talk about what awards we would cr come up with and who we think would win those awards. I think that would be really fun and just keep it nice and happy and positive and, you know, just really have some fun today. You know, there's so much stress out there in the world and there's so many things that, you know, it's like, let's do something fun. Let's talk about something fun. All right, so good morning. Hello to Sarah. Good morning to you and Daniela and Monica. They are like, they were in before I'd even changed the title in the thumbnail. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy. Jeannie was here too. Um, did I say Daniela? Hopefully that I, I did. Michelle is here. And let's see, uh, all of the, what, what do we call it? What do we call you guys? The mod squad, the wrench wenches? What do we call y'all? Thank you so much to the moderators of chat. I appreciate you for being here so, so much. Uh, let's see, Sarojan, hello. Good morning to you and Elizabeth and Teresa M.O. And my husband JG3 is in the house. Uh, Elizabeth, Daniela. I already said Danielle. I keep saying the same people. Chelsea and Alicia and Flory is here. And Emily Sup Emmy Supernova is here. Champagne Supernova. I have to do it every time I see you, Emmy. Sarah is here and Jen Unbox is here. Katie and Catherine. And if I did not say good morning to you, good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here. So the first thing I wanted to share with you, it got me all choked up, I have to say, because... Y'all know I have a soft spot in my heart for Bailey Sarian. Bailey and I did a collab a few years ago where I went out to, we were on a road trip and I had found Bailey through a, um, I was reviewing a Kat Von D palette way back in the day before Kat Von D blew up with all of the controversy and we learned things that I didn't know about Kat Von D. Um, but I was researching a tutorial to copy uh, because I didn't know how to use the palette. And of course, in the video, I gave Bailey credit and uh, tried tried to recreate her look. So I found her through that and people went over to her channel and was like, hey, you know, I found you through Jen and we just kind of connected that way. And then we did a, a collab where she did a video on my channel, I did a video on her channel and she was just so lovely. She um, had maybe 30 to 50,000 subscribers, which is still significantly very large channel. Well, I guess you wouldn't call it a very large channel, but it's a significant amount of subscribers. But she was feeling a little discouraged with her content and we were talking about content strategies and different things. She's like, I just gotta find my thing. I just gotta find my thing and it's like the fact that her channel is doing so well is just it makes my heart explode with happiness for her so she got an honorary award at the streamies from nikki tutorials and i just i can't even with this so let me just show you because i can't just 
Oh. I chose Bailey Sarian for this award because I truly feel like she is among the next generation of creators. She has a way of totally captivating the viewers with her stories, yet still entertaining with a bomb ass makeup look. If anyone deserves this, it's Bailey. <laughs> All right, so like, like it's like, that's my girl, it's my girl. Like I'm just so like, so happy for Bailey, so happy for Bailey. So that warmed my heart. Let me go ahead and flip over. I'm gonna be kind of going back and forth a little bit because I have to all these things to insert, so I have to like click back and forth. Okay, so uh, Nora says, the honor award from Nikki to Bailey was amazing. Yes, Marky Marky, you introduced me to Bailey and I'm so happy you did, I love her content. Me too, just so much joy, so much joy in her content. And I love, you know, they talk about, a lot of people talk about all the time, and we've talked about it in chat before, how people say you have to get in drama in order for your channel to grow. You have to pick fights with people, you have to do, the Bailey does none of that and she's crushing it. So it just goes to show you know, you can get three and a half million subscribers without being involved in any drama or dragging anybody into mess. Just saying. I She gives me faith. Give me <laughs> faith in the world. Um, let's see. Uh, Taylor Makeup says, I found Bailey through your channel. Yes. Um, yeah, she's amazing. She's incredible. Uh, Casey says, so happy for Bailey. Love her. And Monica loves Bailey too. Yeah, I mean, just... Incredible. All right, so let's go into these these award winners. So first was, and these are all listed on their website. And after chat is over, I'll link the website. I'll link the full video if you want to watch the whole thing. It was actually quite enjoyable to watch. So first we have Creator of the Year. And we can see that one of our people, Mr. James Charles, was nominated for Creator of the Year. He did not win. He lost to Mr. Beast. And I feel like, you know, James, let's talk about it. Flip your ring. For all the crap that James gets, James is a very, very hard worker. James is somebody who you cannot deny that he is very focused on a goal and he goes for it and he reaches for it and he achieves a lot of the goals that I would imagine he sets for himself. I don't know him personally, but he, you know, really seems to just be on this trajectory due to his hard work and dedication. And you can't say that, I don't think, for everybody. I mean, like, he he is a businessman. He, he plots his course and he goes. So I give him all the credit for being nominated. Um, I do think Mr. Beast deserved it. If you don't know anything about Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast has just done some amazing things. I don't watch a lot of his content, but with all of the giveaway stuff that he does and the challenges and everything, and he just he's just a very enjoyable content creator to watch. I Again, I don't know a whole lot about him. If he's been involved in drama or something, I don't know anything about it. So, you know, I'm not, you know, vouching for him, you know, completely because I don't know him. But uh, based on the content I've seen of his, it is very good. And he's done a lot of wonderful things for the, um, for just YouTube in general, people in general. So, so yeah, um, I think Mr. Beast deserved a one, but I win. But I definitely give James credit and feel like he should have been nominated. I think he's done an amazing job this year. Now, speaking of James Charles, he was actually nominated quite a few times. So let's switch over to show of the year. Okay, so we have uh, some shows that I don't know that I'm going to have to watch. I've heard great things about Binging with Babish. I know a lot of you really love Binging with Babish. Uh, epic Rap Battles of History. I've seen that suggested, but I've never watched it. I should. Um, it looks really cool. Um, but I've never watched it. I have Good Mythical Morning. I actually used to watch clips of that with my students back in the day <laughs> when I was teaching in a, a small trailer <laughs> in elementary school. I was teaching fourth graders. We used to watch, I was, of course, I would watch them through and make sure that everything was appropriate. But 99% of the time, Good Mythical Morning was appropriate for my fourth graders to watch. And when we were waiting for a bell to ring or something and we were done for the day, we would watch Good Mythical Morning and they loved it. Uh, and Nikita Unfiltered. See, that's something I didn't know existed. It's supposedly a Snapchat original series. Have you all ever heard of Nikita Unfiltered with Nikita Dragon? Like that's a thing? I don't know anything about that. You'll have to tell me if you know about that. But the winner was Instant Influencer with James Charles. So let's go ahead and talk about that. 
Now, honestly, I actually really liked Instant Influencer. I enjoyed it. I thought it was overall very well done, especially for something that was a new concept, a new show just created by James and his team of people. I thought he did a really nice job with it. I enjoyed watching the show. I watched it from beginning to end, and I hope that he continues it. I remember seeing that they had billboards and stuff, I think in New York for Instant Influencer, like absolutely crazy uh, to have, you know, a YouTube person be like that like blown up in mainstream. You know, it just, it blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind. Um, but I liked Inf Instant Influencer. What did you all think about it? Do you think that he should have won? Uh, I don't have enough, um, I don't have enough experience or knowledge of the other series to know whether Instant Influencer was better or not. So I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, rely on y'all <laughs> for that. Uh, Stacy says, James is not my cup of tea, but he deserved the nomination for the effort he puts into his content. Yes. Uh, Violet December, I've never heard of any of these. See, it's amazing. Isn't it amazing how YouTube is such a vast place that things can be insanely popular and we've never heard of them? You know, like, what? Wendy says, Babish is the best. I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, AYS says, for a first season, it is good. If they did not improve for the second season, it would not take off. Gotcha. Yeah, see, I I don't know. I wonder what spins they're going to put on it. One thing I would love to see is just more people in general, like to start off with more people. I didn't feel like they started with enough people. I would like for it to be longer, <laughs> honestly, and include more people. That's, that's my only critique, is I wish that there was more of it. And I'm not even a James Charles fan. Like, he's done things that I have, like, strongly disagreed with, and I think that have shown him to not have great character, you know, in the past, mean, mainly the stealing from other people kind of stuff, like when he stole the national anthem from the Rupee sisters. That was, I think, what pushed me over the edge with him as far as the taking things that don't belong to you business. But, I mean, I got to give him credit where credit is. Is freaking do you know uh, Marky Mark says Nikita unfiltered was so unflattering for her she got a lot of hate for being biphobic because she turned down a guy for being bisexual oh interesting interesting yeah, I know nothing about this stuff absolutely nothing licorice says instant influencer was uh, was okay entertaining anyways Nenny Mars I think challenge accepted deserved to win but I do believe instant influencer was very popular it was I heard that it was fantastic I mean this is mostly from Twitter and from James tweeting he was saying how successful it was, but I mean, obviously it was successful. Let's see. Tina, Good Mythical Morning is one of the first thing I watched on YouTube and I was late to YouTube. Yeah, Good Mythical Morning is very funny. They do a really nice job over there. Like, I feel like I would run out of ideas if I was the people on Good Mythical Morning, if I was Rhett and Link. I think I would run out of ideas. I don't know how they keep up with it. I don't. Um, Jeannie says, there are tons of people I've never heard of, yet the YouTube algorithm keeps showing me videos I've already watched. How weird is that? Isn't that interesting? I have the same thing that happens to me. Very interesting. All right, let me go ahead and let's go to the next category because we are moving a little slower than I expected, <laughs> but we'll keep going. All right, so this one, I didn't, I, I have a little piece of hair on my head. I have all these hairs always like to stick out on me right at the wrong moments. All right, so this is collaboration. So I have to be honest with you, I did not watch any of these. The reason why I included this is we have the Jackie Ina and Naomi Campbell collaboration. Um, Naomi Campbell gets glam with me uh, from Jackie Ina's channel. I have not watched any of these videos, but the one that won was David Dobrik and Justin Bieber surprising people with Justin Bieber. I don't know anything about any of these. <laughs> I can't even speak about them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and flip to the next one just because um, I don't have a lot to say about that and we need to move a little bit faster. Okay, Unscripted Series, uh, Instant Influencer was nominated again for that, and I haven't seen any of the other ones either. I mean, I guess I have a lot of watching to do <laughs> of things. But this one we're going to spend some time on, this next one. This is the Beauty Influencer of the Year. We have my girl Bailey Sarian, we have Brad Mondo, we have Hiram, we have Jackie Ina, and we have James Charles. I feel like they did a really nice job giving a smattering of different people here. I think they did a good job. I don't know if I agree James Charles should win the Influencer of the Year because I am insanely biased, and I would vote for Bailey because I know her personally, and she's the only one. Well, no, I, 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 I'm probably closest with Bailey. I have talked to Hiram personally, and I've interviewed him before. Um, I used to talk to Jackie a 
while ago. Haven't talked to her in a very long time, um, but I've never spoken to Brad Mondo, uh, but I'm definitely closest with Bailey, and um, so I would probably have voted for Bailey, to be honest, even though I feel like every single one of these people does have a reason to be here. I think they did a really nice job picking these people. So I want to hear your thoughts on those three, what you all think. All right, Miranda, I don't know of any of these collabs, LOL. This is unnecessary. I feel like someone with the talent of Jamie French should be on several of those lists, yes. And I do think that in order to get a streamy, you really have to have a huge following. I mean, just we're multi, multi-millions. I mean, it's just not going to happen for anybody like Jamie at this point. But Jamie could be up there next year. I wouldn't be surprised if she was. Honestly, I would not be surprised if Jamie had millions of followers this time next year. Mark my words. When we get, when we, when we get back to December of next year and Jamie French has, you know, two, three million subscribers, I'm going to be like, I told y'all she would. And well, you could say, I, I, I agree with you, Jen. And we all, we all told everybody together. <laughs> so, so yeah. Yeah, Jennifer says ba Bailey or Jackie should have won. I mean, I, I really, honestly, like, I think that all of those people are amazing creators, and I think they all deserved to win in one way or another, honestly. Um, you know, if, if, if one of them was on there and none of the others were on there, I would have voted for that person. <laughs> I do think that they all very much deserve to win. They're great. Yeah, Donna says, I would have picked Hiram. He's so talented and helpful. Terry Lee, love Bailey. She definitely rocks. Uh, let's see. TLG, I don't get why Brat or Hiram would fall under beauty. Like, yeah, it's beauty. I get it. It just feels like there's other options. Yeah, I mean, I guess we, when we're talking about, like, cosmetics, they all kind of go together. If this were an award show, which I do think they have, what is it? The There is an award show just for beauty, and I can't think of what it is. You have to tell me what it is if you can remember, but they have like hairstylist of the year and color colorist of the year and um, you know makeup artist of the year and it's like a whole big thing. I can't remember what it's called. I know that um, Hiram did win something this year from that one. It was skin influencer of the year and actually Samantha March won it last year, uh, skincare influencer of the year. Yeah, and this is unnecessary. Jen, being interviewed by you has good karma for your channel to explode. You know, I take full credit. I take full credit for Bailey. I take full credit for Raw Beauty Christie. I take full credit for Hiram. <laughs> it's all because of me. That's why they're all doing so well. It's my fault. I did that. I brought them to the mainstream. <laughs> I hope you sense, feel the sarcasm in, in, in that. Because people will take that and they will run with it. Jen, Jen said she created Bailey Sarian. <laughs> American Influencer Awards. Is that what it is? Thank you, Casey. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. I think it is American Influencer. Yeah, y'all are right. Jackie, thank you. Yeah, y'all are right. Uh, Jasmine says, who votes for these things? The audience? I think that with American Influencer Awards, I do think it's vote-based. But with this, it's more like the Oscars or whatever. Like, I think. I'm pretty sure, where they have like a, a group of people that are like professionals or something. Like you can go to their website and it explains the process of how they pick people, but it's like, um, and you can like apply to be a part of the team that chooses people. So uh, yeah, thank you all. Everybody knew it was American Influencer Wars. I couldn't think of it. Uh, Sorry, Jen, Robbie Christie did a lot this year. She should get some props. I agree. I agree. When we do our own awards, I think Robbie Christie needs to be in there. That's my opinion. <laughs> yes, Teresa says she had her little boy. She did. And if you have not seen Christie's baby, oh my gosh, go over to her Instagram. Just your heart will explode. Just, oh, oh my gosh. All right. Uh, it's Lisette says, I, I live that Hiram and Brad are included in the beauty category nominations. It's all part of beauty. Absolutely. Yeah, totally, totally. And, and I definitely want to make sure I'm clear that I believe that every single person, Bailey, Brad, Hiram, Jackie, and James, are all incredible creators. All right. Um, where am I at? I'm in beauty. All right. Beauty. There we go. Okay. Next is documentary, which again, like what is happening? And especially if the Nikita Unfiltered was as problematic as uh, the one person had said, I'm sorry, I forget what the name was of the person who had said that it was problematic, um, Snapchat Nikita Dragon. Snap Originals. I don't think it was called Snapchat, though. What was it called? They had it right on the other one. But yeah, um, Secret Life of Lele Pons. I've never seen any of these, so I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't know. 
Let's go to the next one. Fashion and Style. Uh, looks like Bretman Rock was nominated for Fashion and Style, uh, but won by Wisdom K. Uh, I don't know any of these other people either. I do know Bretman. Um, my, my closest interaction with Bretman is that he follows me on Twitter. <laughs> He's never talked to me ever, and I've never talked to him. But, um, but yeah, I do love Bretman. He seems like such a it just incredible person, and he's like his sense of humor just is something else. It's on a whole nother level. All right, here we go. So this is I thought this was a really interesting category, and this was for. Um, oh wait, this wasn't the one I wanted to show you. Okay. Yeah, it is. Um, social good creator. So um, these were just general awards for all of these people. So if you were doing social good, you just got an award um, if you were doing a good job with that. So the Game Theorists with St. Jude's Research Hospital, Mr. Beast with Feeding America, and Bella Noor, um, which I don't know much about her, um, but I know people that know her and said that she is just absolutely lovely and it's Noor House. So I wanted to introduce you to her if you are not familiar because... Um, um, this just looks incredible. So there she is. Isn't she absolutely adorable? Um, and she says, excuse me while I cry like a baby after winning a streamy for Social Good Creator for my nonprofit scholarship program, Norhouse. And I have, here's the screenshot of uh, what she said. I created Norhouse to help um, Jago Foundation to fight in, to break the cycle of poverty in Bangladesh and to transform the lives of 20 young girls who face the threat of child labor, child marriage, and the harsh realities of poverty and inequality in underprivileged communities in Bangladesh. We are just getting started and this recognition from the streamies is so unbelievably gratifying. I'm so grateful for this honor and I'm grateful for this platform that allows Seth and I to do things that are bigger than ourselves. And just the just the fact that they included that, like that just warms my heart that they 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 had a focus. They did a few focuses on social justice and doing good in the world and that just like and to bring attention to it because the streamies will bring attention to it and now I'm going to go over and look at it and, and follow the journey of it and I haven't looked into it enough to donate yet but that is definitely something on my radar to donate to. I donate to all kinds of things. I don't talk about it often but I donate to all kinds of things. Um, so that's definitely on my radar now because of the streamies and there's probably a lot of people that it's on the radar now because of the streamies so I think that's absolutely incredible. So yeah, I wanted to, to point that one out because like, wow. Uh, so hopefully you all will go over and follow her and follow her journey as well. Uh, Melissa said the fame theorist did an amazing fundraiser. Nice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, Angie, I think I think we the people who watch, subscribe, and support YouTube channel should be the ones who vote, just like the People's Choice Awards. See the problem though with that, unfortunately, in my opinion, like I see that perspective, but the problem is, is then it becomes more of a popularity contest and how much an influencer pushes. Like it comes, it becomes all about an influencer pushing to their audience, vote for me, vote for me, vote for me, and it's it's more about who campaigns the best rather than who actually deserves it. So like I I personally like that that's different than what my opinion is but Angie I'm sure that there are a lot of people that agree that it should be based on votes um, unfortunately the, all of this is all subjective so it's like there's nothing measurable other than like views or votes or whatever but but really the quality of something whether something is really truly good and deserves to win something is so incredibly subjective it can't be measured the way that I wish that it could in order to make sure that the person who wins is accurate but I'm I'm, I, you know, looking at the winners of all these things, I kind of agree with a lot of the choices. I think they did a really nice job, and I do not say that lightly. <laughs> I don't say that lightly at all. Um, but but again, that's just my point of view. Like you, everybody has a right to disagree with me, a hundred percent. Like absolutely. All right, let's go to the next one because we are getting closer to the 30 minute mark and I really wanna spend some time uh, going over kind of like, let's make up some awards and let's give people some awards today. We'll call it like the brainies or something. <laughs> Um, after our collective brain. That sounds so stupid, the brainies. I don't know, maybe y'all can think of a better name than I can. <laughs> All right, so brand of the year. Fenty got nominated for a lot. So brand of the year actually ended up going to Netflix, which I thought was kind of interesting. I'm wondering, I didn't get to that like in the video. Like, I don't know like how that came to be, um, but Fenty Beauty uh, was nominated for brand of the year. Old Spice, Old Spice? Like, what is even happening here? What am I missing? I'm missing something. 
I'm definitely missing something. And then brand engagement. So this was uh, for, I guess, I don't, I don't really understand. I guess it was like the brand creating content is what it seems like. The only thing that I know of is the Rihanna Summer Fenty face tutorial. So again, Fenty. I don't know. I don't know a lot about this one. And then sponsor, basically sponsored video of the year is the next one. <laughs> and there were actually two beauty ones in here. ASMR Snap Shadows tutorial with Amanda Stenberg. Uh, that was a Fenty one as well. And then James Charles spills the tea on his Glow Ole Hendrickson skincare. I can't say I've watched either of those. I haven't watched any of this. Uh, but it was one by, uh, we lost a phase member by G Fuel. So I don't know. I don't know anything about that. All right, and then creator product. This I found fascinating, and this is probably the one I disagree with the most. Dragon Beauty by Nikita Dragon. I am shocked that this is on here. I don't understand it. I don't understand why. Like, there, I've seen so many negative reviews of the Dragon Beauty products. I'm sure there are people that love them, but I've, I have seen a lot of negative about it. Why isn't Lunar Beauty on here? That's my question because talk about, and let me just flip over. This is, we'll look at the rest of them and we'll say, you know, I know that McKinnon camera pack thing was huge. That was a big, big deal. And I know it sold out like real quick. I don't know anything about any of it. Chamberlain coffee. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let me flip over. So yeah, so Dragon, uh, Dragon Beauty. I mean, okay, so I think... Did I try anything by Dragon Beauty? If I did, I'd com I don't think I did. Am I trying anything? I don't think I did buy anything or try anything. I think, I feel like something was sent in a box. Am I wrong there? Something was sent in a box. Anyway, Lunar Beauty, incredible products, incredible customer service, incredible platform of, of you know, not breaking. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I feel like it should have been Lunar Beauty, not Dragon Beauty. That's my opinion. What do you all think? <laughs> I mean, like, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, I just, <sighs> yeah, Casey says Lunar Beauty was robbed. I totally agree. I to yeah, Licorice says, what is the Nikita Dragon thing? I don't get it. Yeah, Robin, Dragon Beauty, seriously, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've just heard so many complaints about the products that they're just not good quality. So I don't know. I don't know. Yasmin says, I don't understand why Nikita was nominated for anything. Manny deserves that nomination. I agree. I mean, and just based on product quality alone. I mean, and again, like, I feel like I wish that I could, I could compare them from personal experience. But even if I'd never tried any of the Lunar Beauty products, just based on what I've heard from everybody in the community, everybody I've watched, you know, everybody loves Dragon, I mean, Lunar Beauty. You know, I don't get it. I don't get it. I feel like he was robbed. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Angie says, Sydney, man, he was robbed. Dragon Beauty is garbage, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, Consuelo says, I never hear anything good about Dragon Beauty. I mean, like, she had that, like, the Easter egg thing in the beginning that was like $100 or something because it had Swarovski crystals on it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and KMT, there's also Dominique Cosmetic. Dominique Cosmetics, great quality products. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we are almost done with my screenshots, so we are at Creator Project. Okay, so I think we just have one more, and it's Influencer Campaign, which I've never heard of any of these, I guess because I'm not on TikTok or Instagram. The hashtag All Nighter Legend by Urban Decay on TikTok, and then hashtag Hot Guys Making Lipstick by Bite Beauty. Yeah, I don't know any of these. And that's the last one. So... Yeah, I don't know. One thing I think is really cool about the streamies, even though it used to be like just a YouTube thing, I like that they opened it up to Instagram and TikTok and um, Snapchat, that they opened up, you know, the people that could win. Because these other platforms, I feel like, have moved in as very huge competitors to YouTube as far as the influencer marketplace. So I think that it's it's important to include all of these places. So I've, I, was, I was really happy to see that. Hey. What's up? Wendy Horvath says, call it the lovies. The lovies. There you go. I love that, Wendy. Wendy says, call it the lovies. Yes, let's do that. The lovey awards. We'll do that in a second. I'm already running out of coffee and I'm sad. Okay, so it's time to take our little break and then we're going to do the lovies together and let's come up with some categories and some winners, okay? 
All right, so here we go. Let us talk about what is on my face today. So on my eyes today, I did purchase the Glam Light Holiday Bundle. It was $45 for a ton of stuff. So this is the pie palette. Let me show you. Hold on. I've got it right here. So when you get it, it's in, when you get it, it's in this little pie box. I have to put it in the pie box because you have to appreciate the adorableness. I mean, Glam Light really, look at this. I mean, for real. It's so stinking cute. I can't even. I can't even with this. Okay, so that's what's on my eyes today. Blended really nicely. It's my first time using it though, so that is not a review. One thing to keep in mind about Glam Light eyeshadows, if you do get them, is that they are very soft in the pan. The shimmers are. So if you dig your brush in too hard, you will dig up product. So you have to just be really careful. Like, I'm not sure if you can see here with Blueberry that I use that as my lower lash line eyeliner, and you can see the digs of my liner brush in the, in the pan. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like two slashes in it from my liner brush. So you just have to be really careful. I mean, you can smash it back in and moosh it, but they're just very soft. So on my eyes today, I have pumpkin up in the crease, up in the crease. And then we have mud pie. I put that on my outer corner and just kind of swirled that just to deepen the outer corner a little bit. I put peach all over my lid and then just tapped, uh, tapped a little bit of nutty pecan in the outer corner. And on my lower lash line is blueberry, which is actually purple, um, <laughs> which is kind of odd, but it's very, very cute. And I should have used this blush and I didn't, I forgot about it. I did not use that. I'm still testing this Milani uh, Cheek Kiss. It is very lightly pigmented. So if you um, don't, your skin does not um, show up lighter pigmented products. This, at least the shade of this is not going to work. It takes some building and it doesn't build up a whole lot. So just a warning on that, but this was purchased. I really like this. All this stuff is purchased. Um, I tried for my highlight today to use the Glam Light Cookies and Milk Highlighter. It is too deep for me. Let me swatch it for you real quick. I, it just, what it's not going to work on my skin tone. It's too deep. So I'm going to pass this on, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's gorgeous, just not for me and that's okay. Uh, and it came with the set, so um, that's going to get passed on. And then on my lips today is also from Glam Light. And if you watch my favorites and fails from last month, we talked about how the Glam Light liquid lipsticks that I tried from the, the Chocolate Pop collection smelled absolutely awful. I am happy to say this does not smell awful. This is what's on my lips today. This is eggnog, and I believe this is a lip gloss. Let me swatch it for you real quick. I don't believe, yeah, this is a lip gloss, but it's very pigmented. That's why I'm a little bit... Not sure. See how see how pigmented it is, and it does have a little bit of a like a creamy nutty smell, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little. And it's very nice. It's very pretty. I don't think it reminds me very much of eggnog. I feel like eggnog is kind of a lighter color, but um, I don't think it smells like eggnog. But at least it doesn't smell bad, and I'm okay with that. As long as it doesn't smell bad, it doesn't have to smell exactly like eggnog. I'm okay with that. <laughs> just don't make me want to take it off because I keep smelling it under my nose. All right. Um, okay. So that was what was on my face today. And let's go ahead and get into the Lovey Awards. All right. So let's go ahead and start with who we would make for creator of the year. Who would we say is the creator of the year? Y'all know I am so proud of Bailey and her growth this year. So I would probably nominate Bailey as creator of the year. Let's just say, let's take everybody out that was nominated for a streamy. So we'll take out who was in, who was the nominated, who was the streamy people. We're going to take those people out because obviously they're awesome. So let me go back to, be, to, um, to the beauty ones. So these people are not allowed to be nominated for a lovey. <laughs> Bailey Sarian, Brad Mondo, Hiram, Jackie, Ina, and James Charles. They, they are not allowed because we already know they're all awesome as far as their ability to create content. Rob Beauty Christie, okay, that's a good one. Robert Welsh, yes, agree. Um, Brandy said uh, Christie, Jennifer said Christie, Cosmic Slice said Robert Welsh. Uh, let's see, yeah, uh, D'Angelo Wallace Indigo says, now is, was he, is he a beauty creator though? See, this is the thing about D'Angelo, is I don't, I don't know, like will we, are we counting commentary channels? I think we should leave commentary channels out of this one. That's my opinion, out of this one. But we can talk, maybe we'll talk about commentary later. I don't know. I'm not trying to get into, like, drama. <laughs> but maybe we should. Maybe we should just put out general. In general. We'll just say in general. Nima Tang. Yes, she is incredible. She's so good. So good. All right, a lot of people are saying Christy. Robert Welsh. James Welsh. Absolutely. Manny MUA. Amy Loves Makeup. Yes. If you have not checked out Amy Loves Makeup, you should. She's fabulous. She's such a sweetheart too. I have met her in person. She's so sweet. 
She's just the way you would imagine she would be. She's just a kind soul. I don't know her closely like a lot, but you know, I've met her at events and um, had conversations with her. Teresa is dead. Yes, you guys are pulling out some of my favorites. Samantha March. Commentary should be its own category. Yes. Yes, Jamie French, Jen Phelps, uh, Trixie Mattel. Yep, the Welsh twins. Yes. All kinds of good people. Jessica Braun, Allie Glines, Julia Adams, Mel Thompson, John McClain. John McClain doesn't upload enough. I don't think John McClain should win. John McClain doesn't upload enough, even though I love John McClain. John McClain doesn't upload enough. I feel like if you if you don't upload more, like at least once a month, if you don't have 12 videos up in 2020, you don't get nominated. <laughs> That's my opinion. Melly says too much mouth. Yas. Um, Angelica Newquist from Sharon. I'm trying to see new people. Michelle Taylor Wynn. I love this. I love this so much. Megan Juicy Jass. Yes. Tandra, Jen is a drama channel technically. I am not, shush shit. I am not a drama channel, Are you kidding me? You see how much beauty content I put out this week? All the beauty content. Jen is not a drama channel. I like to talk about things sometimes, but I am not a drama channel. I just, I'm a person with opinions. <laughs> I'm a mom in my basement with opinions. All right, so that's good for um, Lauren May Beauty, yes. All kinds of people, and there's so many people I'm sure that we have, um, we have missed. All kinds of people. Okay, uh, let's see. What's our next category? How about just, um, let's do like talented artist of the year, like, like, like artistic talent. What do you think? Artistic talent, like who is like the best when it comes to their artistry? I'm thinking Rocio Cervantes. That's me. <laughs> However long reviews this Jen is a polite drama channel. I am not a drama channel. <laughs> I'm just a mom in my basement with opinions occasionally. I'm not a drama channel. <laughs> Nothing wrong with drama channels, but no. All right, AYS is Hindash. Uh-huh. Mel Thompson from Mrs. Unnecessary and Roseanne. Um, it's Lisa. I love the interviews on your channel. Thank you. Uh, Donna RBK. Robbie Christie, if you didn't know. Oh, DB Cakes, Pomp Berry. Oh my gosh, Pomp Berry's incredible. Yes. Uh, let's see. Tish says Robert Welsh. Um, Sarah says Drew. I don't know Drew. Um, Danielle Ann Nuge. I'll have to look up Ann Nuge. I don't know Ann Nuge. Uh, Danielle, uh, different Danielle. Nikki Tutorials. Let's see. Brenda says Glamangor. Danielle says, we have all, a lot of Danielles in the house, painted by Spencer. A lot of people saying Bailey. Uh, Steph says, Michaela's hilarious on TikTok. Nice. Uh, Melly Ryan Kelly, MUA. That's my girl. That's my girl. She was like one of my last visits over to my house, Ryan, was like the la one of the last people to come visit my house before the pandemic. She came over in February. She's like, she lives not that far from me. She's incredible. She's gotten tattooed by my husband, Ryan Kelly. Um, Brittany Vaughn from Nicole. Uh, Tanya says, Laura May Beauty. Nora says, a luscious mascara or Bailey. Teresa is dead. Angelica Newquist. Angel Angela Bright. Yes. Uh, Butte Bean. You guys are, you, oh my gosh, these are great. Annette's Makeup Corner. Ann Thomas and Creative Cliche. I'm going to have to look up a lot of these people. I'm not familiar with a lot of these people. Oh, yes, Liz. Um, has anyone followed Moose Loves You on TikTok? I follow her on uh, on Twitter, and she posts her TikToks because I'm, I'm not on TikTok. I'm still, like, hesitant to download TikTok. Like, I haven't even downloaded it. Like, I, for a couple of reasons. One, because I was scared of my phone for that, from, like, that scare about TikTok, about, like, your phone, like, information could, like, go into TikTok somehow and be, like, shared with people. I don't know. There was, like, a thing, and I was paranoid about that. But now it's just, I know I'm going to lose so much time if I download TikTok that I'm just not downloading it. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but, but Moose loves you. I've, I follow on Twitter and have seen her TikToks from Twitter. They're so good. She's very, very funny. 
Uh, okay, so lots of good ones. All right. Let's see. Okay, so let's do... Um, let's just get it over with and let's do commentary channel. Beauty commentary channel of the year. We're not going to say negative things. We're not going to talk trash. We're not going to make this a drama-filled space. We're just going to say commentary-wise, who do you enjoy watching? And we're leaving it at that. Do not... I do not want drama. Not today, anyway. <laughs> I don't want drama ever, honestly. Uh, it's funny because I, I talk to Audra from Audra at Home all the time, and we're always, she always says, she's like, we like to observe the drama. We like to watch the drama. We don't like to be in the drama. <laughs> so here we go. All right, Smoky Glow, Angelica Oles, D'Angelo Wallace, Peter Mon, being Bio Girl, you, stop! <laughs> I guess I have to own up to I have done commentary. I have to own up to it. I have to. I have to own up to the fact that I've done some commentary. I need to accept it in my soul. Um, Skeletam, Emily D. Baker, Patty Page, uh, Nick and Dustin, Brittany Vaughn and Liam. Yes, you guys are coming up with such great ones. Uh, let's see, anybody else? Uh, I'm trying to find new ones. Poplux, Lily, do you think Poplux does commentary? I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe for, um, maybe for art. Maybe Deaf Noodles. Michelle says, and <laughs> Doreen says you. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take, I'll, I'll take that. I occasionally dip my toe into commentary. I will admit that. Uh, Tish says Rich. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you guys. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'll admit it. Okay, fine. I do do a little bit of commentary here and there. But I just dip my toe. And just in chat for the most part. Um, Beauty by Maria says you do such a great job on it. Oh, thank you. A lot of people are saying Peter Mon. Yeah, not a pro says Nady's channel is a place for positive energy only. Donna Dimi, are the closest Nady does to commentary is reaction videos. That's true. That's true. Oh yeah, Robbie, Robbie, Poplux says devil's lettuce re reactions. Well, thank you. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Steph R, it's Keisha. Yes. Adam McIntyre from Cosmic Slice. Uh, Creep Show Art from Michelle. I just started watching Creep Show Art and very much enjoying her take on things. Illuminati. Yep. All right. So, okay, so what category can we do next? Let's do, it's 10.42. Let's do, um, let's do reviewer of the year. Now, you can't, don't say me because it's just, like, it's weird and awkward. <laughs> if I wasn't, if I wasn't allowed to be a person, because, you know, y'all are here because you're my audience. Of course, there's going to be somebody that's going to say me. So, let's do um, reviewer of the year. Who would you say is the best makeup reviewer that you watch? Oh, as told by Kenya. We can't leave Kenya out. We have to keep Kenya in there. Absolutely. All right. We don't have to be makeup reviewers. We can do skincare reviewers too. All right. Elizabeth says Teresa is dead. Claudia says Hiram. Uh, Bonjo Bones Mama. Deaf Noodle. Oh, wait. That's for, um, for the commentary because he points out the ridiculous some drama is. Yes. Uh, let's see. Brandy says Taylor Win. Best unboxing channel. Ooh, great idea, Melly. We'll do that next. Uh, Grace says Mel Thompson. Michelle, Samantha Mark, or Jessica Braun. I love this. This is making bring me so much joy to my heart. Okay, uh, DB Cake says Jen Phelps. Let's see. A lot of people saying Teresa is dead. I agree. She's incredible. Uh, Saucer Jess, other than you, Allura Beauty and Kara C, Steph R, the Welsh, Welsh twins, Mel, that girl Shay, yes! Uh, Brandy, Ali Glines, y'all are so good at this. Uh, Erica, Kelly Strack, Consuelo Thrift Thick, Missy, Jessica, Bo Jessica Braun, or Emily Noel. Yes, they have such similar vibes, Jessica and Emily, absolutely. Wayne Goss from Beauty by Maria. Does he review products, though? I don't know. I don't know if I would put him up there for a reviewer of the year. I don't know. I guess he kind of does. 
but he's more informational. We should do like informational influencer of the year. Um, Kanky Sweat, yes, I love her so much. Oh my goodness, it was a video I did recently where I was like, hello friends. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, that sounded just like Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> kinky sweat. So I ended up putting something in the video description. I was like, I was channeling my inner Alicia in the beginning of this. Go subscribe to Kinky Sweat. Because <laughs> I sounded so much like her because I've been watching so many of her videos. She's so great. I love her so much. Uh, Robbie, Robbie, does anybody remember Graveyard Girl Bunny Meyer? I think she still puts up videos. I'm pretty sure she does. Joey says, uh, Manny and has been honest and a good reviewer this year. I think so, too. I think he's done a really nice job. He has come a long way in his reviews. I used to not trust Manny's reviews at all um, because it seemed like he loved everything. But uh, lately, he's been, he's been critical, but in a good way, like in a um, respectful way. Like, I feel like, you know, there are people, this is, this is for a reviewer. This is for me personally, is you can't love everything and never have anything negative to say like critique, critiquing of it. But you also can't be overly critical on things that I think aren't fair. Like I feel like some people go into a review, like let's say I was reviewing, you know, the Eternal Eclipse palette from Lunar Beauty. And I know that this is an influencer, so I don't wanna be too nice about it, but I actually really love it. So I'm just gonna be like overly critical about something that I don't need to be overly critical about just because I feel like people are gonna come after me because I, you know, am reviewing this palette even though I love it so much. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like sometimes that happens. People are afraid to be positive when they truly have positive experiences with something and then they just like nitpick something and I'm like, wait a second. Really? That's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna go off about? It's like the corner of the packaging was a little crooked or something. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. So that's what I look for. I have to it has to make sense when someone picks on something or like, you know, they're do, they're showing how the product goes on and they're like, this is not blending, but you're looking at it and it's like, uh, that's blending. Or the opposite, like someone's putting something on and it's not blending and it's looking like crap and they're like, oh my gosh, look at this blend, it's so wonderful. I'm like, no, it looks like doo-doo. <laughs> I remember that a lot with the Kim Kardashian products when those first came out. Like a lot of the reviews for the, um, for the KKW Beauty brand when that came out, like they were all so positive. And I'm like watching everything going on, I'm like, that looks like crap. Like it looks bad. Why are you saying it looks good? It looks so bad. <laughs> Cheryl says, I miss Tati's reviews. Me too. Me too. Oh, Tina says, Andrea Matiliano. Yeah, she's amazing. I love her. She's such a sweetheart too. Uh, Dion says, Manny makes me feel good. He makes me laugh on every video. Yes, he's just got that personality, I think, too. Yes, Tiandra says, reviews Smoky Glow. Thank you for clarifying because we had talked about her for another category. So thank you for clarifying on that. Uh, Rebecca says Nady from Pop Looks. Yes. Um, okay, so let's move on. What was the other one? Unboxing. People that do subscription box unboxings. Who will we nominate for the best subscription box unboxer? All, just Alexandria Ryan. There's no doubt in my mind. That's the first person that came to my mind was Alexandria Ryan. Uh, I don't know of anybody that really does subscription boxes the way that she does. Maybe I'm just missing people though. So, um, yeah. Okay, Jen says, Chris, Jen Unbox says, Chrissy Harless and Michael Janse. Did I say that right? Um, Susan says, just Ann. <laughs> Julie says, me. I don't really do unboxings that much anymore. I just do FabFitFun now is the only one that I, I do now. I used to do a lot. That was pretty much all I did on my channel for a while, for a good solid year back in the day. Glitter Fallout, Alina says, yay, that's my friend. Her name is Lyndon, she's amazing. <laughs> and we actually got together, um, we went for a walk at our local park uh, with our masks on. Uh, what was it? It was in the spring sometime. I wanna say it was like April, May, somewhere in there. We went for, maybe it was a little warmer than that. I don't know, sometime during the pandemic, we went, went took our masks and we got some, um, she went and got us some, uh, what you call it, some Panera bread. And we sat at a picnic table outside, like on opposite sides of the table. And we ate our Panera and we talked and then we went for a walk with our masks on and it was incredible. I love her so much. Linda from Glitter Fallout. We've stayed together at events. Um, we've traveled together. She's amazing. Uh, let's see, Melissa, Kathleen Lights and Manny, yes. And not a pro says Leora loves makeup. Y'all, I gotta check out some of these channels. Liz says, Audrey at home for beauty and life commentary. Yes, of course. I'm super biased there though. Stephanie says, PR unboxing is Madison Miller. Nice. 
If, how many times have I said nice? Take a shot every time I say nice, and then that that's when um, we'll all be drunk. <laughs> uh, purple wall, Georgia sunshine, D says Teresa's dead, Nin says everything proof beauty, Kim, 90s love child, Terry, Allie Dawson, uh, best vlogs, ooh, that's a good one too. What did I say we were going to do next after that? There was another thing we were going to do, I forgot. Um, what was the other thing we said we were going to do? We are going to do... Adriana says, Saturday's PR unboxing Madison Miller. Okay, let's, let's just do vlogs because I can't think of what it was that we were going to do. Um, let's see. Oh, inf informational? Maybe teaching? Vlogs, Cassie from Thrift, Thrift Thick, Flory, yes. Ooh, I love that category. Um, Jennifer says, best cat creator under 50K. Yes, I love that. And she's nominating Britt Clark. Yeah, Susan says, the Braun family, they do great vlogs. They really do. I feel like it's hard to do vlogs. Like, I've done vlogs in the past, and I, I find them very difficult to create. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult. Um, but they do a wonderful job with their vlogs. Sorojin says, I'm loving Marlena's Christmas vlogs. Yes. And um, Russ says, Laura Lee. Ginger Genie is uh, nominating for educational Cassandra uh, Bankson and Lab Muffin Beauty Science. We should do an educational one. Totally. Uh, but let's do, let's finish up with uh, vlogs first. See, Morgan Adams for vlogs, Donna says. Is she beauty, though? I don't know. I don't know if I would consider her a beauty creator, but... And I've never... Honestly, I've, I've watched, like, one of her vlogs. I honestly couldn't get into it. I don't know. I couldn't get into it. Uh, Christy says, I love Dr. Dre's vlogs. I know a lot of people love, um, love her vlogs. I couldn't get into it. So we... So, okay, I need to be... I need to write... I don't have a pen. Write all these things down. Flory says it's Judy time. Does she still do vlogs? Does she still create content? I didn't realize that. Yes, nice. Okay, so let's jump into educational because I know a lot of you all are loving the idea of talking about an educational content. Oh, vlogs, I wanted to nominate Michelle Wong because she's amazing. And I wanted to mention Michelle Wong just came out with merch, if you want to even call it merch because it's on a whole nother level. It's these like custom, super bougie, amazing, like cashmere wool blend like scarves or wraps so they're not like really scarves they're wraps and they have like the mw like a uh, logo like woven into like they're just on a whole nother level so if you have not seen that highly recommend we should do merch of the year too um but yeah let's do educational channel but yeah i love michelle's vlogs that's why i wanted to make sure i mentioned that I personally have been loving Lab Muffin Beauty Science this year. That has been a huge one where I pretty much watch all of that Michelle Wong's videos. I watch both of the Michelle Wong videos, but they're spelled differently. We have Michelle Wong, M-I-C-H-E-L-E-W-A-N-G, who's a luxury person. And then we have Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-W-O-N-G, who's Lab Muffin Beauty Science. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as far as educational content, uh, Robert and James Welsh are amazing. I love, I watch Hiram. I watch Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, I've learned a lot from, um, Angie Berg, Saucer Just Says, 100%. Oh, Crystal says me for skincare. Well, thank y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Nanny says, Jen, for educational, don't care if it's your channel. Oh, you know, education has always been my thing. It's always been my forte. It's always been my thing. So thank you. Uh, Nan says, Cassandra Bankson and Dr. Dre. Jenny says me for ingredients. Thank you. I don't want this to be about me, but <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of the same people. Wayne Goss. I love listening to Wayne Goss as far as his advice on makeup. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not really into hair. You know what? I need to watch more Brad Mondo, Stephanie, because I am. I need to get better with the hair thing. <laughs> it's definitely something I'm not very good at. Elizabeth says, uh, Lisa Eldridge for educational. Yes. Carolyn Hirons. Yes. I love Carolyn Hirons. She's amazing. 
Oh, Jennifer says, Jen needed to post this to Instagram as a way we can vote next Saturday so we can vote for next Sunday. Oh, yeah. I mean, we could. I don't know if I want to make this that formal, though. I don't know if I want to, to make it that formal, but it is fun to talk about. And maybe people can put it in the comments who they would vote for for the different categories. Um, and then let's do one for creator under 50,000 subscribers. Under 50,000 subscribers. We've got about five minutes left. And then we'll do merch. So under 50,000 subscribers. So some of my favorite creators, see, I don't know who's under 50,000. Um, you know, I mostly nominate my friends. <laughs> I nominate Audra, I nominate Linda. Um, I mostly nominate my friends. <laughs> Thank you, Flory, for the reminder to leave a comment and a like and share. I definitely would appreciate that so much. Thank you, Flory. Let's see. Okay, Claudia says, Kyla Fish, I'm not familiar. Allie Dawson, Mel Melly says. Lisette said, your channel is the first review channel I found that really dives into cosmetic and skincare ingredients. I was doing it, I, I've been doing it for a while. I've been doing it for a while, but I've learned a lot over the years. I definitely feel like I've improved on it quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Mary says, Kate the Great. Leslie says, Chelsea Gary. I don't know, Chelsea Gary. Um, Alina says, Teresa's dead is under 50,000. I, for, I forget that she's under 50,000. She shouldn't be. She should be way, 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 way closer to 100, in my opinion. Uh, Cheryl says, Hot Mess Mama. Consuelo, Mrs. Melissa M. Roseanne says, Mandy Lee. Rebecca, Better Off Red. Colleen, Cat's Eye Beauty, all these, oh my gosh, so many different channels. We have Morgan Turner, Annette's Makeup Corner, Abadabs, and Karen Harris, Cyril Laurent, Audra, 100% Audra. Thanks, Tia. <laughs> oh, hi, Tia. How are you? I'm going to get together with her after the pandemic. She was my best friend in elementary school, and now she follows me on social media, and it's so cool to be in, back in touch with her. Um, okay, let's see. We were going to do best merch. Best merch. What are we going to say for best merch? Um, let's see. My favorite merch that I've bought this year. I've bought, I buy so much merch. I'm trying to think. I really like my Linda Glitter Fallout um, Super F and Rockstar shirt. Um, I bought a lot of Audra merch this year. <laughs> yep, Sarah says Audra at home should be at 10K by 2021. I hope so. She should. She's growing quick. She's growing quick. Oh, Bailey. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Bailey makes incredible merch. I have so much Bailey merch. I probably wear Bailey. I wear Bailey merch at least once a week because I have so much of it. <laughs> and it's comfy and amazing. And she, she designs really nice merch that's like beyond merch. Like it actually looks really cute. Uh, Nanny says, I love Smoky Glow's Halloween hoodie. Karen says, Better Off Red for merch. Bailey Sarian for merch. Samantha says, Alicia Marie. Jenny Carolyn Hirons mugs. Emily Emmy says, Best Collab would be interesting. Ooh, that is an interesting one. Maybe we'll, we'll pop that in. Julie says, Better Off Red. Okay, so let's do best, okay, let's do that because that's such a good idea, best collab of the year. So it could be a collab where people met in person or it could be a collab where they just did a video and shouted each other out. Best collab, ready to glare, yes, Steph. And then we'll be done because we're, we only have a minute and a half. Man, how much love Teresa is getting here is warming my heart so much. So much. Liz says, I love tea sweatshirt that says, never trust anyone with a Morphe code. See, I, I need to get that. I want that in my life. I need to buy that. I don't know how I miss that. Yes, Ashley says, garbage person and suspicious. I have a garbage person t-shirt and I have a suspicious hoodie. So, yeah. Melissa says, can we say the Welsh twins? I think so. I think so, because they're constantly collabing with each other. Now they have that channel together. A lot of people sang Smokey Glow and Manny, that, that, the interview there. Yeah. Consuelo says Michelle Wong for merch. <laughs> Julie says Angelica Newquist and anyone. 
Chantel says, RBK and ColourPop. Yeah, we could even open it up to with brands, collab with brands. Justine says, Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics. Oh, Rebecca says, Teresa's Dead and Jen Love collab. When I did the interview, that's cool. Uh, Roseanne says, Mel Thompson is Sydney Grace. That was a great palette. I have it right here. You can see it. Tiny Marvels, it's right there. You can see it like right back there. Uh, Nicole says, me and Jamie French. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Oh, Liz is Luscious Life, the Welsh twins with Audrey at home. She's it's so freaking funny. Yes, agreed. Agreed. All right. Unfortunately, it is time for us to go. Thank you so much for being here in live chat. I appreciate you. I hope you had fun with this. I had fun. Um, you know, I think that it's it's important to bring light uh, and bring positivity. And, you know, it's not always positive in the beauty community. And sometimes we need to call things out. Sometimes we need to um, talk about when people have, you know, there's been issues and things like that, but I think it's also nice to highlight the good sometimes. And I hope you had fun highlighting the good this week with us. Uh, and Crystal said me and Oprah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> but I, hope you had, I hope you had fun uh, in chat today. Uh, next week, we do have an interview that I'm very excited about, but chat is still going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern time. It's going to be just an earlier interview, and I'm so excited to start sneaking it for you on Twitter. I will be posting on, usually on Thursday, I post on the YouTube community tab and also on Twitter, a place for you to ask the person questions, and I am I'm very excited for next week's uh, interview. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you're following me on Twitter or keep an eye out on the YouTube community tab um, to see who the guest is. So, you know, very exciting. All right. Thank you again so much for being here. Have a wonderful week and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.